very special thanks to the video sponsors. Check the links in the description. That's a big boy. Oh, yeah. So for phase two, here's what's staying the same and here's what's going to be changing. I'll still be using the fabric wall track system on the both left and right lower walls of the room, the upper angled ceilings, and there is a half wall at the back of the room. I'm going to still use the fabric wall track for that and I am going to put insulation in there and wrap it with fabric. The difference is this time I'm going to use the fiberglass that you can actually get through fabric wall. I'll link it down in the description. You can actually get everything you need from them and it's two inches so it matches the track. So I'm pumped on that. The other difference between phase one and phase two is I'm actually using the tools from fabric wall. So it'll be nice to see the difference between using their tools and just random tools I got from the hardware store. And then as far as the same thing, I will still be using the gilt for the main fabric. I have three different colors. I have the silver papier, I have the black, and then I have this um, Anchorage. I think it's called Anchorage. It's sort of like a cream white sort of color. It's a lighter color. I wanted the room to feel more open. So I, that, I think that's what it's called. It's actually right here. You can see it right there. So if you're interested in any of those products, the links to them are all down in the description. All right, I got to move some stuff around, I think. Starting the edge track, which is gonna go on the border around the whole section here. It's a square edge, looks like this. The way that I'm gonna install it this time is I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle this way. And then on the bottom piece, I'll also cut at a 45 degree angle so that the two pieces meet up nicely when you go to tuck the fabric in. And same thing when you go across to the mid section and I cut at a 45 degree angle. This one will be cut at a 45 degree angle like so. And the mid section piece will have two 45 cuts on it so that the bo two bottom pieces and the center piece can line up just perfectly so that the fabric seam looks seamless. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with this ceiling. I put the track up, kind of flubbed a few different parts. Just kind of testing here, but I wanna put up some of the rigid insulation before I do any more track because I wanna see how this is gonna fit. And I'm really excited about the insulation because it's way easier to work with than the rock wool I was using. Okay.
Okay, so this is really cool. This is the fiberglass here. It's a rigid fiberglass. So this is like a hard sheet. And you can tell as you get under here that it is just totally, totally dead. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. So cool. All right, one piece down, the entire room to go. Here we go. Okay, so it's day two of continuing phase two, I guess we can call it. And uh, wow, yesterday was a day of lessons. So uh, it took a lot longer than I planned on it taking. But, by the way, it sounds so different. Just this one wall, I still have that ceiling, and then I plan on doing the back wall and then the two lower walls. So it's gonna sound much different in here. And the cloud's not even up, so that's crazy. But seriously, flipping between the insulation I used before, the Rockwell Safe and Sound, to this is so much easier. Especially if you get your cuts right. Now I had a couple hiccups where I just am lazy and I didn't do my due diligence with measuring. So if you're gonna do something like this, just take the extra couple minutes and make sure that your measurements, the top and the bottom, are accurate so when you go to put the fiberglass in there the track is actually there to hold it dang how cool does this hat look <laughs> all right so today i have much loftier goals i'm being ambitious with my timeline because i want to be done uh, i'm going to attempt to put up the fabric on this wall and then start and get as far as i can on the track and the insulation on the other wall and since I have my stuff already up here, I have to move everything from that side of the room to this side of the room before I can start that. And there's a little bit of a constant cleanup as I'm going because this stuff is messy. But ultimately, when it's all said and done, I think it's going to look and sound absolutely beautiful. So go ahead and cue the next time lapse. Here we go. All right, let's see here. There's some light this way. All right, so day three. Yeah, day three. Uh, I have the track up. So today I'm gonna put in the fiberglass in this wall and also hopefully get the fabric on it, which means I will have both ceiling sun and I can hang the cloud. And the only bits that will be left to do will be the lower parts, the back wall, and that, if I wind up doing that. I don't know, I'm gonna kinda assess what the room sounds like after this is up, because I think it's gonna sound really, really, really close. 
and also I didn't order enough fiberglass. So that's a problem. I, li I just literally don't have enough fiberglass to finish it. So we'll get this done and then I'll probably set the studio up and then maybe just get back to work for a little bit and then maybe later I'll finish the, uh, the bottom po portion here. All right, so technically still day three. I haven't put the fabric up yet and I don't have enough rigid insulation to finish everything that I wanted to do. So because I just need to get to work, uh, I'm just going to probably button it up and hit the pause button on doing all of the treatment that I wanted to do for now and use the room and get a little used to it and see what happens. But so far I've done the front wall, I've done this ceiling side like slanted ceiling thing and then I've done half of that ceiling I wanted to do it to go out just as much as this one but I'm really bad at math which is why I'm here on YouTube and then in the first video I made the cloud which is currently not hanging right now um, once I get the fabric up over here I'm gonna put the cloud back up but even still it sounds dramatically different in here so I'm really excited about that and I could just tell even with one speaker up well, listening to music while I did this stuff that it it's gonna sound freaking awesome in here and I'm so so excited about that really impressed with the two inch rigid fiberglass at how dense it is and how how heavy it is let me know if you'd want to see something like this but I'm probably just gonna run a frequency sweep through the room and see how flat it is so I'm gonna throw the fabric up on the last wall and then I am going to clean everything hang the cloud vacuum, do some swiffing, and uh, hopefully get some things into place. Set up the room and and use it a little bit and see how I'm gonna set it up. I kinda, kinda have a rough idea, but really don't have any idea. I'm mostly sitting here explaining this because I needed a break and I needed to sit down. Sitting down is a dangerous thing to do when you're doing work like this because when you're up on your feet and you're just go, 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 you can just blast through time, but when you sit down, it's game over. <laughs> All right, it's enough of that. Let's get back to it. Okay, first thing, let's take note at the sound of the room, how it is now. Sounds great, first off. I will say I'm going to be adding, a lot of the stuff that's gonna be in the studio isn't in here now, so that's gonna change the sound of the room. I'm going to add some more treatment at some point in time on the two lower walls and this back wall to finish my original plan. Obviously, I screwed up and didn't order enough materials, but I gotta get back to work for now, so if you're subscribed, you'll see how it turns out when everything's all done. But I wanted to show you a few things close up that I learned and uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've used something like this before, if you've done it differently. This is my, I don't know, 10th studio build project and it was really cool using the fabric wall system 
instead of the traditional, you know, making wooden panels and hanging them and mounting them everywhere. I like this way more. First of all, it feels much more professional. A non-acoustic treatment note is having this window here is amazing. Being able to see outside and yet still have the entire wall being a bass trap. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Both of the speakers right behind them, it's all insulation from floor to ceiling all the way up. Looks beautiful. I can get the natural light. Love all of that. All right, so to recap here, in phase one in the first video, I just did this front wall and this cloud. And in the first part of this, I used different insulation. I used the Rockwell Safe and Sound. It's a very good insulation. It's a different type. It's not rigid, so it's, you know, a little bit trickier to install. It's messier, uh, a little harder to cut. So on phase two, I got to use the rigid insulation, which is the yellow stuff you saw me put to the ceilings here. Also notice, this is the fabric on. It looks pretty darn close to the original color, and that's what I wanted to make it feel open and not too closed off. I have this black cloud here to sort of contrast with the white, and then I have the gray wall, and then this lower wall is gonna eventually be gray. So I'm hoping that it looks something like an ice cream sandwich when it's done. That's my color palette, is in like Oreo ice cream cookie dough studio. Okay, let's take a look around. All right, so it's stepping back. This is generally what it's gonna be. Obviously the lower walls aren't done yet, so they are still white and not treated. But boy, just listening to the sound of the room and me talking, especially when you get up here in the listening spot, it sounds, it sounds wonderful. It sounds so tight, sounds so controlled. This music listening on the speakers sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a couple Sonarworks runs to see just how the room is reading currently. But as I said, uh, there's gonna be rugs in here and they're not in here now. So it's gonna change a lot as far as the sound. But as of now, I'm really happy with how it sounds. All right, so here is a close up of the first wall that I did. And you can see since I used the thicker insulation here, it's a little kind of puffs out. It's got a little bit of a uh, curve because the insulation was thicker. Overall, it looks really, really good though. Even when using the thicker insulation, I didn't have the right tools. So there are portions of it that don't look as good as the second wall where I learned how to properly cut the pieces and I had the right tools. So looking here at the second wall that I did, man, it looks so much better. You can see the last wall I did was by far the best. Has the cleanest edges all the way up. Looks just beautiful, seamless. So yeah, coming back, you can see I have the front wall, the cloud, and then these two sides. This one comes all the way out to the staircase here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the lower part. And then I'm gonna cover this wall at some point. Got all the pedals stacked up here. When I get that insulation, I'm gonna fill that in. And then I'm actually gonna come out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna fill in this wall all the way across. And then, then we'll be rocking. Fabric looks absolutely amazing though. Oh yeah, look at that. So clean. And then contrast it with the gray and the black. Really loving the color palette here. Got the drum set up. Drums sound really, really good in here. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. This has been a really fun project for me. If you have any questions on the gear that I use, the materials that I use, I linked everything down in the description. So I'll go ahead and leave it there for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.